Good morning all. Well today we're going to start on uh, connecting the water tanks up to the plumbing. I'm going to run the, or actually I'm going to connect all the connections into each of the outlets and inlets. I'm also going to run some sewer hose to where I'm going to connect it to a macerator pump which will pump it out into the dump station and also work out what other pipes on hoses I'm going to need. Now, the reason why I've left the floor out is I want to be able to get everything underneath done so I can get to it easy enough. Once, once the floor goes in, I've then got to crawl under the bus to do it all. I still have to crawl under the bus sometimes, but it, it just makes it easier because I can work from inside the bus sometimes when I want to do some stuff underneath the bus. So that's why the floor is not going in at the moment. So once everything that I'm sure I've got everything I can do under the bus done, then we'll put the floor in. There are all my connections for the water tanks that I've got to put in today. I've also got the, the black hose, which is the uh, sewer pipe coming from the black tank. So I'll run that as well. Then I'll work out what, how much I'll need for the breather pipes and also the water inlet as well. That's what I'm doing now, so follow along and see how we go. Oh, this is 38mm hose. It's, it's um, smooth inside, so no debris will get stuck when it's going getting um, disposed of. Uh, I've got... 38mm elbows. You've got the, I've forgotten what they call them, but the clamps that go onto it. So that, and I've got um, one, these are 38mm or one and a half inch. I've got a one and a quarter inch and an inch and three quarters of the connections to put on. So I'm going to do all that now. Good morning all. Well, today's the second day after we got out of lockdown. Um, yesterday I spent uh, just time running around getting all the parts I need to finish off the plumbing for the tanks under the floor. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. Unfortunately, just the positioning of the inlets and outlets means I have to pull the water tanks down again which is why I didn't finish them off completely because I thought that was going to be the case. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing. I've got to knock off these little brackets here. Uh, and that one there. Just because when I run the water inlet from there, it's coming up around here and it's getting stuck on here. Then it's coming back under here, up here and then it's going out the wall there which this part here is going to be behind a bed so it'll be covered anyway and the breather which is next to it is doing the same thing coming up there if you have a look down through there you can see one of the elbows already on there that will be for draining the freshwater tank whenever I need to drain it once again it's a little bit hard to get to so that's the reason why I'm lowering the tank a bit and then this connection here is for the outlet for the water going up to the water pump which will be under the kitchen sink and once again just the position it is in is hard to get to hard to screw it in and also it's going to be hard to get the pipe on or the hose on not the pipe it's going to be the same for the grey water I can actually get to the outlet there and fix on the hose but the other two, which is one's here and one's here, 
is once again right in a spot where it's going to be hard to attach to the hose so I'm going to have, have to drop the tank to be able to attach it and then with the black water I've already got one hose attached which is down there you can see so there's a black water hose now I'm using a macerator pump to pump it out so that little bit of a lift is not going to make a difference because the pump will suck it up and over there on the side of the bus I'm going to have a box which you can open up from the outside which will have the macerator and a two shut off valves one for the black water one for the grey water and that's where it'll get pumped out from to the dump however the inlet for the black water is under here which I can't get to so I'm gonna to have to drop the dank again for so that's the plan for today to get stuck in and hopefully get most of the hoses connected to the water tanks and once that's done then I can have a look at putting the floors back down I have got a special thing that um, hopefully will be delivered today which is gonna go just in here and once it arrives I'll tell you about that hopefully this week it'll arrive but it's something to do with uh, later on in the build which I'll show you but I've got to connect it up while the floor's off as well anyway I'm gonna dive in there now and start doing what I have to do good day guys I just thought I'd give you an update I thought I'd planned really well for these water tanks and all the attachments going in there but I didn't as you can see my idea was to drop the tank which I've done and to put the tubing or the hose on the end of the connection and then screw the connection in however when I went to do that that piece of bar that I've got that the water tank sits on and attaches to the thread rod is actually in the way when I screw on the the elbow with the pipe on it so I can't do that so I've got to take the pipe off put the elbow in which is I've done and now somehow get the pipe onto it this one is already in there I think I'll be able to just attach the pipe because it's only a small bit of pipe now what I'm doing with the pipe or oh, sorry the hose I don't know why I keep calling it pipe is to get the end of the attachment in the elbow in I'm heating up the end with the hairdryer which loosens this up a lot the end of the hose which then I can push with a bit of force to get it on all the way down and then I can just uh, connect the hose, hose clamp onto it now that it's down there I'm gonna have to heat this up heat the hose up and try and push that on while it's in a spot where I can still reach it so that's what I'm going to do now a big word of warning anybody doing your water tanks that the outlets are in a hard spot make sure you put the pipe on or the hosing on before you put them in okay because it's a nightmare anyway that's just a tip and if I ever do another bus that's what I'm going to make sure I do next time so silly me uh, but we all make mistakes when we do things so it's a learning curve anyway guys I'll talk to you hopefully with a bit better news next time Yesterday I went through and I connected all the connections to the water tanks. I've also started to do the hoses and connect them. Now, running the hoses, I thought we'd be able to just run them um, without having to put any bends in them. But when you start to work with this hose, you realise it doesn't bend real easy. So I'm going to start to put some elbows in and go across with a lot of the elbows the 
bigger the hose size, the harder it is to manoeuvre and onto the barbs. So if you have a look here, this one here was a really difficult one to do. Um, it's a 32 mil, uh, um, one and one quarter inch connection. And I did plan to go this way and then back up this way. Unfortunately, just there was no hand space or anything to get it onto the end of the barb of the connection. So then I've had to do it this way and come up this way and I'm going to put another elbow and we'll go up towards the back where we'll fill from. The only problem with that is <laughs> the breather pipe is there so I'm going to have to work out how to do that but we'll get around that today. That's what I've got planned today to get hopefully most of the hose and pipe in so we'll see how we go. We may be lucky, we may be unlucky uh, just the way the build goes but for each one I get done, the closer I am to getting this floor on, and then we can start building up, which will be wonderful. Hey guys, just an update for you. I've got 40 mil hose running for my waste of my black water and my grey water. If you don't need to use 40 mil um, connections and hose, don't, because it is so hard to get the hose onto the barb. Um, almost killed me. So. What I eventually had to do to actually be able to get it onto the hose is I had to cut down the barb on it, otherwise there was no way I could push it all the way up. And especially in some of the positions I had to get to to, to get the hose in was not fun. So if you don't have to use 40 mil or one and a half inch connections or um, hose, don't. The most is probably 32 mil, uh, one quarter inch one and one quarter inch um, other than that they start to get too hard so I'll just show you what I had to do this is the connection that goes into the elbow and this is the barb and trying to get the whole hose over that barb and to the end 
was just impossible. I could get it to about the fourth barb here, and that's as far as I could get. It didn't matter what I did. Had it in hot water, I had uh, boiling water, I had it, the hair dryer on it, I had Vaseline inside it, I put WD-40 inside it. I've tried everything. Anyway, um, so I've cut the barbs down. So now there's only two barbs on the end of the connection. As you can see, and then there's this spare. And now I can push it all the way to the end and put the clamp on. So that's what I've had to do. But it's pretty much impossible to push this size hose onto that barb. I just couldn't do it. It doesn't help that I'm older and I don't have as much strength as I used to when I was a teenager or in my 20s. So that makes it a bit harder as well. Um, but yeah, try to keep it at 32 mil as your max if you have to. Alright guys, hope that helps. See ya. Uh, good afternoon everyone. Alright, it's Saturday afternoon and I'm going to call it quits for the day. I've pretty much finished all the underfloor plumbing for the three tanks. So that's where the... Uh, water for the um, pump and fresh water are coming up also the sink waste which follows along down to here and goes into that grey water tank here are all the connections down here there the breathers um, the fresh water intake the waste grey water waste intake also the grey water waste coming out from the tank which is going up the back we've got the breather tanks and I uh, breathe the hoses and the fresh water fill hose all comes down the back and it's coming up to the back here which will come through the floor and that's where all the plumbing is going to be connected and that is where the Macerator pump to pump all the waste out, the black, the grey, and the shower, which is what I'm going to talk to you about. We have one more tank which got delivered yesterday, which will be going basically below me here where the spare tyre was. This is a separate tank for the shower. We're going to have a, a recirculating shower. So basically we can have as long a shower as we like without wasting any water so the shower or the the shower tank is going to have its own separate fresh water intake uh, it also have its uh, a drainage which will come out through the macerator pump as well it'll have a breather it'll have a waste inlet from the shower and it'll also have a outlet that'll go to a pump which will send the water through a three-stage filter then into a UV filter before it comes back into the um, hot water tank and then back into the shower so basically it'll just recycle and every time we go to get fresh water we will empty that um, shower tank and refill it up so it'll only be recycling water for probably at the most two weeks maybe not even that depends on how long our 200 litres last for a fresh water but it's going to save us a lot of water um, and we can have a shower every day so that's um, next week's job to put in that tank and get all that plumbing done and once all that plumbing's done and I've checked that there's no leaks in all the other plumbing I'll have to get the pumps out and connect it up onto there up onto that um, connection to make sure it's um, drawing up the water and also I'll put the macerator on and check that it was sucking out all the uh, waste from grey water and black water I'll just have water there to test it I won't be putting any uh, <laughs> crap in there literally so that will be next week's job and then once that's done then the floor goes back hey <laughs> looking forward to that so hopefully next week 
all the plumbing everything will be done and the floor can go in and that shouldn't take too long I'd say probably a day or two to get the floor in because most of it's all, all of all the the bottom subfloor is done painted I'll just have to um, uh, waterproof the holes that I'll make for all the pipes that are coming through um, and then it's just putting the insulation and then the top uh, floor on so hopefully in two weeks we'll have the floor down and it'll start to look like a, a motorhome we can start building up from there so all right guys um, once again thanks for watching our videos we're hoping that it's helping you out with your build if you've got any questions or want to know anything about our build or got some feedback for us please leave them in the comments below because I like to read them and uh, and I'll uh, answer as well so guys take have a good weekend and good luck with all your builds and we will talk to you next week okay bye for now